the bees. An insect loved by many, as well as hated by many. They're alive! Run for your life! Those damn bees, just please don't, don't watch this movie. You're not gonna like bees if you watch it. From all of the kinds of bees, the most important one to us is the Apis mellifera, the honeybee. They are pollinators, meaning that they move pollen from one flower to another, allowing them to fertilize, therefore produce fruits and seeds. A third of our food is possible thanks to these little guys. Cherries, blueberries, apples, some avocados. Here in California, the almonds are a very important crop. They essentially require honeybee pollination. And one healthy hive can produce over 110 pounds of honey in a year. But the bee apocalypse has been a big concern in the beekeeping community. Colony collapse disorder. Colony collapse disorder. Colony collapse disorder remains a mystery. Colony collapse disorder, or CCD, has resulted in a population decrease of 50% since 1988. And if they disappear, so will our crops. A colony that falls victim of CCD is pretty much a ghost town. The worker bees disappear, leaving behind a queen, food, and the immature bees. So this is what you call a dead hive? Yep, empty box. No bees. Parasites, viruses, habitat loss, and pesticides are the main suspects tied to the mysterious phenomena. But these remain as theories. These helpful arthropods are complex social animals. Their hives are divided in three main classes, the queen, drone bees, and worker bees. They develop into each kind based on if the eggs are fertilized or not, and the larva's diet, which is responsible for activating specific genetic programming. Honeybees have also developed some of the most interesting forms of communication in nature, the waggle dance. Well, I don't think I can really overstate it, but bee communication is quite complicated. What seems at first like a simple figure eight is packed with meaning when they're bus When an adventurous honeybee finds a new food source, it comes back to give direction to the other bees. The dance starts with the bee walking in a straight line, waggling its body and vibrating its wings, before repeating in a figure eight. The direction it walks while waggling is the direction of the food source. They use the sun as a marker. Straight up the line of honeycombs means the food is in direction of the sun. Whatever other angle they vibrate towards is precisely comparable to the food source's angle relative to the sun. The longer the waggle, the further away the food is. The better the food, the more excitedly it wiggles. Even if they can't see the sun, they are able to infer the sun's location and time of day by reading the polarization of light in the sky. There are countless other reasons to admire, respect, and care for bees, one of which you'll learn about in a second. And we can all do our part to help them thrive once again, planting more flowers, reduce the use of pesticides, choose food from a sustainable source, keep out invasive species, and better care for our wild. Isn't it unbelievable?